Democratic candidates. One of those that is incredible, that's on the state level, and also working with organizations, public and private, with the same goals, the same concerns, and working together to maximize on the potential that we have in OHA. There's so much that we can be, that can be done, and we need help, but we can do this together. And you have some legislative experience to draw on because you used to work in the House and Senate? Yes, I worked in both the State House, the State Senate, the Senate Committee on Higher Education, and also the Senate Committee on Judiciary and Government Operations. And I feel it's very key that we have more presence at the legislature. I've already began talking story with our, our fellow legislators, State House, State Senate, Governor Ige, Lieutenant Governor Green on what we can do and we are hyped and we're pumped to continue the conversation, to talk story, to work together. I'm super excited. And going back a little bit further, let's talk about your pedigree, granddaughter of Senator Akaka, cherished legislator for the state. Thank you. I have so much to be thankful for. My ohana, mahalo to my ohana, my family, my friends for all your support. My grandfather has been a guiding light throughout this campaign through my life. I've had the great fortune of having him, my ohana, and I thank you to the people of Hawaii for embracing me, our campaign, encouraging, encouraging us so that I'm able to continue my ohana's legacy of service on my Akaka side, on my Lui Kwan side, and that's a service to our people. Thank you so much for talking to us and good luck with your race. Oh. All right, that was OHA trustee for the island of Oahu, Kale Akaka, giving a nod to her grandfather, Senator Akaka, saying that he is the inspiration for getting her into politics to begin with. And she hopes to uh, use that pedigree as well as her experience working at the state legislature, le le legislature to enact change should she win that seat. We're live in Evilay, Diana Ko, KITV4 Island News. All right, thank you, Diane. Now let's take a look at the Maui resident trustee incumbent, Carmen Hulu Lindsay, with 30, nearly 31% of the vote. Her challenger, Keomuku Kapu, with 24, nearly 25% of the vote. Now the at-large trustee office of Hawaiian Affairs, John Waihe'e the fourth, a lot of votes, 12.4%, followed by Le Ahu Isa, 9.8%. Brendan Lee, just under 9%, and William Isla Jr down to 8.7. Rowena Akana, it's been an ugly stretch for her lately. Mm -hmm. uh, the HR concerns, mm -hmm. ethics commission investigation, down at 8.5%. And then in six, there's actually one more below. That would be Faye Hanoha.